Hello and welcome to HP Counts. I'm Rick and today we're going to have a look at how to do variable statistics on the Texas Instruments TI-30X2S calculator. Two variable statistics are typically statistics that have say an X and a Y coordinate and can look like they are graphed something like this. To do this we'll be using the second function key, looks like this, located here. The data key with the second function of stat located here, as well as the stat var exit stat key, looks like this, located here. All right, first thing we're going to want to do is put our calculator into statistics mode. To do that, we press the second key, see the second at the bottom there, and then the data key. This will bring up this menu here. We have the one var stat, to the right once, two var stat, and if we go one more over, we get this clear data option. It's always a good idea to use this when getting started for the first time to clear any excess data out of your calculator. So we'll hit enter on that first, and it'll bring us back here, and then we'll go once to the right and select two var, or two variable stats. You can see now we have STAT down at the bottom of the screen beside our DEG there. This lets us know we're in statistics mode. All right, now if we have, say, this data set that looks like this with X and Y coordinates that can be graphed like this, and we want to enter our data, we start by pressing the data key. First thing that appears, this is X1. This is asking for the X coordinate of our first point. And if our first point is this, we have an X equals two, Y equals two. So we press two and enter. And then we go down one, and we see y equals one. We want that to be two, because our y is two, so we press two. There we go. And then we can just press down again, and we see x2 equals. This is asking for our next point. Makes sense here. We have an x equals six, y equals three. So we press six. Down y2. For us, that's 3 here. Down again, x3, our third point. x equals 8. Down, y3. Our third y is 6. Down again, x4. You can see this one on the graph here. We've been graphing all these points from the graph. So x4 is 10 down, y4 is 5. All right, all our data has now been entered. Now, if we want to see our statistics, we press stat var. You see it says calc there for a second, and then it brings up this screen. First, we have n, which is the number of points. You can see here n equals 4. This tells us that we had four sets of coordinates or four X's and Y's. There you go. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Makes sense. And then we can see our mean of X's, our sample standard deviations, our population standard deviations of X's, then our mean Y, sample standard deviation, population standard deviation, sums of x's, sums of x squareds, sums of y's, sums of y squareds, and then sum of x and y together. And then we get into this. We have a. a is our linear regression slope. So for that, we get 4 point, or 0 0.457, etc. We see b. b is our linear regression y-intercept. One more over, we have our R, and the R is our correlation coefficient. That tells us how correlated these points are, how good this line is. And the closer to one that is, the better the correlation coefficient. If we square that, we have the coefficient of determination. One more over, and now we have an X to the power of one and a Y to the power of one. 
What this does is lets us enter an imaginary or potential number in and see what the resulting coordinate would be. So for this x to the power of 1, what this allows us to do is enter a y value and then see where on the x axis that would end up. So if we press enter and then enter of y of let's say 5 and then press enter, we see that gives us an x value of 8.68, which makes sense because we can see we have a line going kind of like this, and if we had a y of 5 and bring it across to where the line sort of is, yeah, it's about 8.5, 9 right there. That makes sense. And we can do this the other way too. So if we want to enter a x value and see where that would end up on the y's, let's say we wanted to enter an x of 4. We press enter on the y there, enter 4, enter again, and we see this gives us a y value of 2.857, which again makes sense because our line goes like that, and if we had an x of 4, bringing that up to the line, yep, that would be about almost 3 on the y scale. All right, once we're done, we can press clear, and then if we want to get out of statistics mode, we just press second function, stat var, brings up this screen here, exit st or exit statistics mode. We highlight the Y and press enter. And now you can see the STAT at the bottom of the screen is gone and we're back to regular mode. All right, I hope this helps and good luck on those tests out there, everybody.